and welcome back to Let's Play Liberia and Victoria 3 at the Liberty, where we are busy taking Liberty away from others, and it's quite expensive, if I can be honest about it, but it's all good because we have Britain backing us up, and we're also trying not to be ruined by some revolution or something, because people are really radical in the country right now, and not in a good way. Um, I'm thinking that because this war is very expensive, I'm just gonna send as much forces as I can to fight in this war. We need to win this war as quickly as possible. Okay, we have an event, a matter of security. With the proposal to pass the guaranteed liberties, law members of government have voiced their concerns about the compromising the nation's internal security. Well, see me here. Yes, we're gonna have enacted guaranteed liber li liberties as long as... Oh no. Well, looks like we're having a revolution instead. Probably they'll have to cancel the law passing if that's, how, uh, that's as far as they want to go for it. And... Civil War in Great Britain. What do we have here? This is a showdown. Be... be <laughs> what? Trade Union British Proletariat Revolution is a constitutional empire led by Emperor Leopold. What? What is going on, Britain? So, you know, like the the actual king is fine with just calling himself king, but the pro the re leader of the proles thinks he's the emperor. Leopold, <laughs> which is a very British name, by the way, Leopold Brudenel Bruce. All right, Leopold. Emperor Leopold is gonna make everyone equal and himself somewhat more equal than others, I assume. <laughs> what is he doing? What, what is going on, Britain? What is going on is that Britain is wrecking us because we, we don't have anything. <laughs> okay, now that's a problem. We're gonna have to solve somehow. Um, okay, so just critical thinking skills. I think that we should declare it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just so funny. That <laughs> we just asked Britain to make it to protect her. And now we're gonna have to fight a war of independence against Britain because they are wrecking our economy, as you can see, minus 300,000 per week, which is something we can't sustain at all. Um, so let's start damaging the relations as soon as possible. Right, um, skyscraper. Let's put that one on hold. It would be fun to have a like, like a big skyscraper in Liberia, but our economy is tanking. Um, yeah, cool. Lay the foundations and forget about them. Trust me, not much is gonna be happening after that. Ah, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's promote our generals so that we can field more troops. We need to win this war ASAP. Every war costs. This one seems to cost a lot in particular. Right. Let's see, when will England let us declare independence? It's still not possible. Ah, perhaps it's because we're... St oh no. So we're in a bit of a trouble. Right, okay. All hands on deck. What do we do now? We have no, we have no trade going on. But we have ways to, to to deal with this. So back to Stone Age is what we're gonna do right now. Everything goes into the most basic way of doing things because that that's what we can reliably sustain without trade, right? So we're gonna have to have that. All hands on deck. Here for the Stone Age mode. This is sort of like COVID, but in Victoria 3. Everybody stay home and make steam engines. Oh, no. With hands. Uh, except for wooden ships, I suppose. Uh, urban centers. Yep. See, this is beautiful. Substitution will increase our income by so much. What is the current way of doing business here? Well, we have quite a lot of bureaucracy, so we can lower that too. Now let's go to rural settings. 
Uh, yeah, let's make it simple. My hope is that as long as this is going on, we're not going to get into some sort of a famine. I had played one game where this happened and I was like, hey, they're gonna win the war soon. It's not gonna be an issue. And actually it was an issue. Yeah, we don't have any engines. Yeah, let's use railway transportation, I suppose. Uh, but we don't have any engines to have irrigation systems. So let's go back to basic production. As long as we have food, we should be fine. That requires us to go back into the Stone Age, and that's, then that's what we're gonna do. Simple fishing. And we have a lot of substance farms as well, which produce some goods. Um, what's what is next? We're losing money as it is, so we might as well just lower the taxation amount. Construction, it's just not happening anyway. So that is all good. And now we can just continue monitoring the situation on the battlefields here. Oh no. The homie is not really helping us. So our GDP went from one point no, that, that was much more than that. It was uh, 70 million here, I think. Back to a more modest 17 million. Uh, right, and the revolution is threatening us. But so far it's not progressing further. I suppose survival is on their mind more than politics. Which is fair enough. Ah, it's not exactly this law that is making them feel. Um, colonists have been moved to Liberia and Gabon, hoping to build a new life in Liberia's new African territories. Yeah, new African. Are you kidding me? I'm. My, the country is African. Well, why are you. To, use a different language for that. Paradox, what are you doing? It's like you never expected anybody to play as an African nation. Give me Land of plenty. The country's high standard of living has resulted in a widespread sense of contentment with the status quo. Really? Is that what's happening right now? Um, and the Communist Party is doing well. Okay, so I guess keep the Communist Party in. I don't know. Okay, how is Communist Britain doing? Tailmate. That's what it is. They're not even fighting their battles. They seem to be happy with each other. Right. And Britain is losing against the US as well. Okay. The Magaram is now a part of our beautiful, wonderful alliance of countries. Um, what is left is Bornu, I suppose. No. That's all we needed to, to have. That is good. So, now that we have peace, run. Grassroots support for law. The political wills and desires of the lower, lower class always remain an opaque matter. For whatever reason, support for guaranteed liberties has spread like wildfire. Oh, isn't that good? Okay, lower strata, more loyalist. I'm liking that. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Disregard that. We're thinking about war with Britain. We need our independence back. Britain, what are you doing? Why can't I request them to just let me go? My, are our relations so good that I can't even get into war with them? Yeah, they're still positive. That is crazy. Are you gonna bring me down with you, Britain? We have to monitor the revolution, by the way, because this could really kill us right now. Film unlocked. Well, can't wait to see a movie. If we still have a thriving civilization here. Really, Britain was the wrong horse to hitch my wagon to. I'd rather be managing my own market again. Constant micromanaging doesn't seem as bad as this. Um, yeah, let's reduce the military wages. Why are we at war with somebody? Is that what's happening? Oh. Russia. Oh, okay, we can't have that. Let's have a white piece. Thank you. Okay, so now now we're at peace. Sometimes it's difficult to know if there's something <laughs> something here. I have a good I, I gotta get a bigger screen. Can't see it, nothing. Okay, so let's see. 
What's happening here? Um, are friends moving? Not at all. Nobody cares about what's happening here. That means Britain. I'll only say this once. Let me go. Wait, do I have good relations with France? They're okay, I suppose. Um, so doing your I don't think they're going to be helping me that much. Okay, I think we're in a good position right now to say, Britain, let us go. Okay, why are you so confident? Reason expedition. A Dutch expedition to Liberia and Gabon has encountered our own troops, suggesting their colonial ambitions in the region are in conflict with our own. They must turn their back at once. That will give us 14 infamy, and we don't want that, so let's lose prestige. I don't care that much about prestige. The revolution doesn't seem to be spreading. <laughs> Our standard of living now is modest. More modest than before, I suppose. Um, look, Ashanti has better standard of living. But not the Magaram. Take that, the Magaram. Okay. War with revolutionary Fudatoro. Okay, well, luckily... Who's... Which fronts are active? So, Fudatoro, Fudatoro, Fudatoro... Oh, yeah! Fudatoro, of course, Fudatoro. Let's, let's show them where the legs are growing from. And, in the meantime, let's monitor this here situation. So I'm not gonna back down, which is fine. Um, well, how about we conquer a state from them as well? While we're at it, uh, what do we have here? Uh, Sierra Leone. Oh, that belongs to them. So can you transfer your vassal? Is that possible? Conquer, take three. Yeah. Okay. Liberate Sierra Leone. Look nice in the history books. I wish that the fact that I'm about to declare war to Britain would give me my own market. Why am I stuck in their market? Am I paying them any diplomatic sub Nope, at least that's not the case. All right. Oh, I hope there's nothing wrong with waging war while bankrupt. Okay, what do you do? Here, uh, I think these guys will. Nah. Yeah, okay. You you can stay here. What else is going on? Okay, and so the war has started. It's little Liberia against Great Britain. Oh no! Everybody is doing secessions. Well, I'm kind of doing my own secession, so it's a funny coincidence. If it goes out of hand, I'm pretty sure I can just send my troops back home. Oh, there's the revolution. Going in. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, a little bit. Oh, cool. Don't care about that. Indo will be here, right? Yes. That would be unfortunate. There's a lot of Edo people. But I have nothing to do with them. Wait, um, boom, 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 boom. we have some authority. We lose the uh, taxes, which we don't care about anyway, because I, I don't even know what this means. Like we're at minus 500,000 and nothing is going anywhere. So I'm pretty sure it's okay if we lose the taxes. Maybe we can just do some, you know, violent suppression. Is it working? Um, and here too. Right? How is that gonna work? Okay, that didn't work here. Um, what is going on? Okay. Um, let's just take over Sierra Leone. We just need to send troops here, so that uh, food, food is that? No. 
Purga. Then we have the Homey Purgatarian Memorial, which is just five regiments. Complete absolute chaos. That's what's happening. We are sort of winning a war against Britain, are we now? Matter of security. If you want peace. The armed forces suggest more high line policy towards the United States. We can't afford that right now. Are you kidding me? The revolution is not happening. Two secessions and not a single revolution. Think about that. Are they, they are confident. How come they are confident? Nobody is helping them out. Take them. Okay, so where are our generals fighting right now? Um, okay, so you're here, that's fine. Oh, you're in Nigeria. It's a bit confusing. Oh, let's go there. What is happening? So Oyo is trying to fight us now. Is that the case? This is very, very confusing. Oh, Britain is fighting back. What the hell? I did not expect them to step up. Oh, soon enough they will be open to... Whoa, what happened here? So there's a Great Britain and a Great Britain now. Huh? Okay, so Emperor... Constantine <laughs> Fitzjames is an emperor of Great Britain, while Emperor William of Hanover is an emperor of Great Britain, too. But their Britons are different, right? Because... Wait, which one is that? It has to be Wales, right? Or is it Ireland? Now I'm showing my butt right in front of everyone, but the thing is that we have two Great Britons, and they're still at war, luckily. Yes, indeed. Great Britain and Great Britain have the biggest beef ever. So don't you worry about it. Great... which Great Britain is the... <clears throat> yeah. This game is not confusing at all, actually. It makes perfect sense. Full Bay Uprising has broken out. Hopefully it will work well for us. Uh, what do we have here? Where's our where's our people? Where do our troops go? Right. I think you're not. No, you're just fighting up and down here. Uh, can you go home? Nitro HQ. No, sir. I would like to move you somewhere else. Okay. Let's see. Can you move here? That would be nice. And Edo Uprising is now up. Oh, ain't that a thing. Which one is the Edo Uprising and which one is my... Oh. This is our enemies. 102 battalions. That will be quite a thing. Well... Yeah, I don't know what to say. This is quite chaotic and hectic, but we might win this. Oh, did we win? What happened? Oh, feels like winning to me, if you know what I mean. Oh, look at that. So, we got our general back here. Uh, push everywhere. Congo HQ, taking care of these lands. What can you do? Let's go and take back the homie. It's about time. And we have an event. The center of break ranks. The outside observers. Okay, revolution is not about to happen. The outside observers, as you can see, I may appear from the committee to guarantee the liberties, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Well, 
Fair enough. Let's uh, let's make some interest groups happy by promising to pass a law and never never doing it. I feel like doing that instead. That's a much more way, much more fun way to govern a country. Let's see. Which one was that exactly? Um, protect speech, right? Right to assembly. So as soon as it gets close to getting passed, I'm just gonna cancel it. In the meantime, my friends here are appeased. And that's all we really care about. Let's see if we can make peace. Wait, what? What are they proposing? Oh, they're giving us our war goals. Sure. Well, that's amazing. So we're independent. Finally, we can start rebuilding something. But really, I don't have time to take care of our nascent market again. Uh, perhaps we can join somebody else's customs union. No, we can change to our customs union. Or, let's see, customs union, customs union. We can't join any customs. Maybe we can ask someone. Can we ask someone to become their... No. I guess we have a bad reputation as a protectorate. I wouldn't be surprised. But either way, once again, we're going to be micromanaging our internal market like the last time. Um, also, we have about 20 wars happening inside of the country, so it's not like it's going to be boring. Okay. Um, so. Let's see what we can do to... Let's start from a solid zero. Uh, importation of ammunition, booze, cannons, coal, clothes, steamers, wood, hm, more liquor, guns, of course, from America. Where else? Yeah, we need paper. Opium we make ourselves. We don't, we don't import our own products. Come on. Let's export some coffee, tobacco, iron perhaps? Fabrics. Definitely. Don't have much of a use for fabric. Sugar, fruit, and so on. Starting to look a bit better. What is the biggest problem for our economy? It's the subsidies. Why do we have so many subsidies? Well, who are we subsidizing? I think it's the railways. So, railways, you're on your own. Yeah, we lost quite a few subsidies, but we still have a lot of them going on. Uh huh, synthetic plants. We just can't afford subsidizing anything. Sulfur mines. And. All well, these are effective as they are. And hopefully, we will soon be able to enhance their production. But first, we, get, we have to get our tools up. Right, how's the board going? Did they? No. So did, they did manage to break off, which is unfortunate. I don't know how. I don't remember signing a peace treaty with them, but... Oh yeah, let's crush this Benin secession. What else do we have here? Revolutionary Futatoro. Then we have oh, quite a few wars. Okay, what do we have here? Sierra Leone is currently fighting a proletarian revolt. That's fine, we're just gonna take them over anyway. As soon as we just <laughs> redevelop our economy from ground up. Steel. Let's get some French steel. How about that? Um, and yes, we can 
start to improve slowly but surely the way our manufacturers work. Two workshops perhaps as well? No, not yet. I'm just gonna force it through though. We need tools. Let's import whatever is needed for making them. I'll probably be maybe focusing on raw goods would be the best idea right now. That's really hard to build up from zero. But I'm sure we can make something happen. Just gonna have to import more stuff. Yes! Irrigation, again, a possibility in our plantations. Electric sawmills, looking good. Slowly but surely, the effectiveness of our economy is getting back up. And that is reflected in our GDP. As soon as enough, it will be back to where it was. I'm certain. <laughs> this was a crazy episode, if you really think about it. I've, I had an independence war against Great Britain, which I won. And Great Britain is now two Great Britons. And... We had so many revolutions that I don't know how to count anymore. So there's a lot of stuff going on. A continent of opportunity. <laughs> Colonists moving to Liberia and Japan, hoping to start a new life. All right, the African colonies are the first survivors, not charity kids. <laughs> I just really like just how rude that is. Like, how does how does somebody from? Um, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about how. I've never heard anybody from Sweden say something like charity case. Oh no! What, what what is that? Do we still have Okay, we do have our gold mines, but what is that? How did that happen? Okay, we gotta gotta start exporting stuff again. We need more money. Some hardwood to France. Chairs to Spain. Shirts to Austria. Luxury clothes from America. Oh, okay. Explosives. And we're making some engines even. So, uh, now perhaps we can raise the taxes. Interestingly enough, they, this barely does anything. So, we will not raise taxes yet. Uh, our country is in a state of civil war. Which one? Which civil war are we struggling with right now? Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, the revolution has been peace enough. Okay, let's increase our bureaucratic capacity. Mm, go away, charity cases. Okay, let's think about what can we do about the independent part of Ben. I just want to really annex it. This doesn't feel right that half of my province is now away. This doesn't feel right. Okay, now we can keep improving our production methods. Capitulation on Fuda Toro in Liberia. What? Liberia? Which one, which war was that? It's hard to keep track of our wars, I think, at this point. The Calm Reunion are fighting this Scandinavian Peasants Revolt. Interesting. Good luck to whichever side is 
more humane, I suppose. What else do we have going on in the world? And the new South Wales continues to dominate the Oceanic region, as does the East Indian Company, led by President Barnaby Churchill. No relation. Right, so perhaps... Ah, we still happen to be in a war. I can propose... Now, I suppose a white piece will mean I'll just let them go. Which I don't want to do, really. So, let's start importing goods that we need. What else is needed within our market? Some paper would be nice, but it's too expensive. Or rather, let's set up some export routes. We should invest as much as possible into our government institutions. So let's go with telephones. Does anyone have a telephone? Nope. Nobody in the world is making a telephone. It's just the idea of a telephone is making our bureaucracy much more effective. Does anybody want to take us in to their customs union? Or we could become a protect... Nope, nobody wants us at that. Uh, let's see if we can sign some trade agreements. Nope, 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 nope. Well, that is nice. What are we paying? Oh, goods for military buildings. That's because we're still at war. Yeah, we need to return our footage alone states that seceded from us. So we're gonna have to keep paying the price. In the meantime, let's try importing telephones. No. Exporting chairs. Yes. And shirts. Just can't even mark it. Whoa. are looking up. Oh, relatively. We were in complete chaos just five minutes ago. Okay, let's see which trade routes we don't particularly need. Oh, this one is actually not a good one. I'm just gonna remove those trade routes that don't have a lot of convoys going on. Or rather, good. I don't think we need as much ammunition anymore. Nor do we liquor. We can just take it from Spain, that's fine. Um, yeah, the iron from France is redundant. These ones are both quite okay. Uh, dice to Austria. Not the most efficient trade route that we have. What else is bringing us down so much? Let's think about it. So if we take away the interest that we are paying, that's not a lot. Yeah, it's probably the uh, goods for military buildings that is the biggest problem for us right now. Yep, that means we have to accept a peace treaty for British Loan, unfortunately, but at least we don't have to pay all of these exorbitant prices for military goods. But still, our economy is a, li a little bit in a tough hole, so I'm not, I'm not going to tax it on the people, I'm not going to put it on the people. Um, let's think about what we can export. 
or import. Because we need more iron. Maybe if we have more iron, we'll be more productive. The iron is good. So, now that we're importing more iron, what can we do with that? Can we use better tools? Indeed we can. And that's why we want to import iron. Coal mines. We only have two coal mines left. Thanks to Ben and somehow declaring independence on us. Okay, let's see if we can improve. Aha, uh -huh. the tooling workshops would be much better. They came back to the Stone Age somehow. Yeah, things are not as good as we want them to be. We can import lead. Okay, low market access. That is fine. Liberian Bedin. How okay. come? Oh. We lost the only port. Like really bad, that's why. I don't know how this part of the countryside managed to take away the port, but that's fine. Uh, let's not get into Karpapo with Scandinavians. Now, what is happening here even? So Pura Jalan is fighting Pura Jalan and then Sierra Leone is fighting Sierra Leone. And we're just sitting here trying to manage our economy. Ooh, rubber's finally picking up some steam. Speaking of rubber, we're getting more steamers. Let's import hardwood. wants us as a protectorate unfortunately. I would be happily French protector at this point. Spain would not want us because of their base reluctance. Great Britain obviously not an option at the moment because that's what we could kind of just got out of. How about our ex? America. Nope. They still won't want this. Uh, that's unfortunate. Since if we don't have a functioning market, it's very hard to get all the goods that we need to actually make the goods that we sell. Um, particularly tools. So we're gonna have to experience some waste on t in terms of bureaucracy. But we are getting somewhere. The traditional looms sound much better. Ah, this is so difficult when you think about it. Okay, a little bit better when it comes to urban centers. Yeah, universities are not strictly necessary when you think about it. Let's see if we can make any of our plantations function better. Ranches, nope. Yeah, this is not the first time when we were brought back to the Stone Age and we came back. The problem is that we have a lot of interest to pay. And that's why we can't manage. Oh, actually, hey! <laughs> I did not expect that. Well, look at that. 
And what a great way to end up an episode. After such an incredible crisis that we experienced. Slightly damaged, but still persevered. Last oh, nation, sure. Um, we persevered. And despite the fact that we lost a couple of lands here, they're still independent, so they're ripe for grabbing. As is Benin, Bornu, uh, Bakirmi, and eventually perhaps even Wadai. So we can keep expanding now. We don't have Great Britain and its inevitable conflict against Great Britain weighing us down anymore. <laughs> so we finally escaped the problem of two emperors that's been playing Britain politics since for I really don't know what's happening there I, I essentially I can't make some stuff up that would explain that and make it make sense but please come back next time just to see us almost get there when it comes to the campaign I'm hoping that by the end of the campaign we'll be able to get Bornu, uh, Bagirmi, Benin, Sierra Leone, Fuda Jalon and Fuda Toro back into our fold and thus become the most powerful nation in West Africa. France doesn't count, that's just a colony. And Great Britain, we won against Great Britain. I'm sure we could win against the United States just as well. Thank you for watching and good night.